so many questions There's so much to learn that I don't know I don't have a direction But God, I know you show me where to go You help me to see the best I can be Here we go. Oh, looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Dive in. Okay, just a second. Okay, take your time. This is definitely one of my finest creations yet. Now I know it looks like regular old mac and cheese, but this is anything but my friend. I used some of the finest gourmet cheeses from the state of Wisconsin and the noodles hand rolled using pasta dough that my cousin Frankie brought back from her trip to Italy two summers ago. Mm. Oh. Brandon, what are you what are you doing? Oh, you said dive in, so oh, okay. I'm diving in. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. You know, John, I've been thinking. Thinking? Ah, <laughs> uh, very funny. Uh, okay, sorry, go I, I've been thinking lately about how I want to be proactive, you know, to really expand my spheres of expertise. You want to do what? I want to get smarter. Oh! I just want to be one of those people who's like super wise and knows a bunch of stuff. Oh, like Kellen. Y yes. You know, you, you should invite him on the show someday. Kellen is on the show already. Oh, that's true. Oh, I did invite someone, though. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Good morning. Hi. Hi, welcome. Whoa. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Come on wow. in. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. So great. Well, Brandon seems to know you, but uh, I haven't got a clue. So please tell us who you are and what you know. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. My name is Dr. Alberta, and I am a neurophysicist and part-time veterinarian. <laughs> Basically, the smartest anyone can possibly be. Fancy. <laughs> I am, in fact, very smart. Oh. <laughs> the brain, the spine, the nerves, physics, puppies. 
Oh, very humbling to study. Wow, yeah, wow. Uh, so uh, what is a neurophysicalist? Neurophysicist. Is that? Yes, 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 yes. Neurophysics is an interdisciplinary science which uses physics alongside other neurosciences to better understand the nervous system. In other words, we study the brain through physics. Oh, okay. Oh, oh so, so. What's my brain doing right now? Uh, oh. Wobbling oddly, I would say. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh. I'm parched. <laughs> oh, I'm so, do you need something to drink? I can get you a bottle of water. <laughs> I don't drink water. <laughs> what? Well, that, 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 that's physically impossible. You have to drink water. <laughs> oh. Are you sure that's a wise choice? Still got a little bit in there. <sighs> That's the ticket. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We were talking about how smart I am. Now, when you say you say you don't drink water, <laughs> you I don't drink it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, why bother? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Now, do either of you have any candy around? I could really go for some gummy worms. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, oh. No. Oh. oh, let's see. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, oh maybe. Uh. Let's see. Oh, uh. oh, no. Just a regular worm. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. I should really give this to Patricia later. New patient. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, here we are. Yes, 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 yes. Do yes. you want to wash your hands since you already touched a yeah. worm? Mm. Guess mm. not. So, uh, Dr. Alberta, you are the smartest person that I've yeah. ever met, and I, I would like to get smarter myself. What did you do to get to where you are today? Mm. I was in school for a long time, read a lot of textbooks, spent hours in front of a chalkboard and a computer. Oh, 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 a chalkboard. Okay, so are you one of those scientists who like writes an equation and it takes up the entire chalkboard? Yes, 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 yes. I once had an equation so long, it took up an entire wall of my house. Whoa, yes, whoa, yes, whoa, yes. What was the answer? Seven. <laughs> Worm? Mm, no. Yeah, I'm good, mm -hmm. I'm good. Suit yourself. If you were one of the dogs at my veterinary practice, you'd be like. Um, I'm not known to be the world's healthiest eater, and I'm definitely not as smart as you, but don't you think that's a lot of sugar to be eating and drinking in one sitting? Of course it is. How else am I going to stay alert for all of the scientific research I have to do later? I have a big theory I'm working on. Lots of equations. <gasps> Oh, is, that a, is that a permanent marker? I sure hope so. No, but permanent is, that means permanent. Oh, oh, please. I gotta go. Bye. Well, she was fun. I'm so confused how someone that smart could also do things that are so not smart. Like not drink water. And keep worms in her pocket. I, I really, really thought being around her would help me become more wise. Yeah, Dr. Alberta may be super smart, but she is definitely not that wise. True. <laughs> you know, I know something wise we could do, though. What's that? Uh, yeah, it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> oh, oh, whew. Is that worm still here? Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. How's it going, Kellen? I'm hanging out with two of my favorite people, and I'm getting to do one of my favorite things. I'd say I'm pretty good. Aw, we like you too, Kellen. Yeah, and learning Bible stories is one of our favorite things to do too. <laughs> Perfect, because I've got a good one for us. Today, we're looking at a story in 2 Chronicles chapter 10. A man named Rehoboam was about to be the new king of Israel. Ah, finally, it's my turn to rule. 
Rehoboam was King Solomon's son. Now, Solomon was known as being one of the wisest people on earth. He wrote most of the book of Proverbs, including this verse from Proverbs 13. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Yeah, my father had lots of wise sayings, but I wonder what I'll be remembered for. Let's do this. All the Israelites gathered together in the city of Shechem to make Rehoboam king. Rehoboam, we Israelites would like to speak to you. Hmm? Come to pay your respects? Give your first words of adoration to your new king? Actually, no. Oh. oh. Well, what is it then? Your father was very hard on us. He put a heavy load on our shoulders. But you can make our hard work easier. Lighten the heavy load on us, and we will serve you. Hmm. Uh, come back in three days. See you then. So King Rehoboam asked the elders for advice. Now, these elders had served with his father Solomon when he was king. They were wise and had a lot of experience. Elders, I need you. Yes, your majesty. How can we help? The Israelites are complaining. Can you believe what they said? Give me advice. How should I answer these people? Be kind to them. Give them what they are asking for. Then they'll always serve you. <clears throat> now, Rehoboam wasn't sure about the elders' advice. So he decided to call in a different group of people to help him decide what to do. A group of young men he had grown up with. They were probably his buddies, and they were pretty new to the whole ruling a country thing. My not-so-elderly bros, I need you! What's, What's up, up, bro? Get this. The people said to me, make the load your father put on our shoulders lighter. What should I do? Oh, oh no, they, they did, did not. not. I know. They think, they think your, your dad's, dad's load, load was, was heavy? You tell them. My little finger is stronger than my father's legs. Yeah! Wait, I don't get it. Bro, that's how much heavier your load will be than your father's. Oh! Tell, tell them. You want things to be easier? I'll make your work way harder. Like it. Three days later, the people returned like Rehoboam instructed. They were probably hoping he would do what they requested. But, well, I bet you can guess whose advice he went with. Let's take a look. Rehoboam, we're back. Hmm, so you are. So, what do you say? Oh, my dearest people, I say... You think my father was hard on you? I will be so much harder! The load on you is about to get way heavier! You gonna wish that my father was still around once you experience me! Fine! Have it your way! We are out of here! We don't want to be a part of you or your family anymore! You can take care of your own kingdom! Rehoboam chose to listen to his foolish, inexperienced friends. He wanted power more than he wanted wisdom or loyalty. His choice to ignore the elder's wise advice cost him and all of Israel greatly. From that time on, the kingdom was split into two parts. Israel and Judah, and the people strayed away from God. The end. Whoa, that was not the happy ending I was hoping for. Not at all. I mean, I can't believe he listened to those young guys instead of the experienced counselors. Yeah, 
If you surround yourself with the wrong crowd, it can be hard to see what the right thing is to do. It's really easy to be swayed by other people. So true. You become like the people you're around. Exactly. When Jesus was growing up, he would have learned this story too. He might have even thought of it when he was picking out who he wanted to surround himself with. Oh, well, that's cool to think about. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Hey, you guys are welcome. I'll see you next week. Bye, Kellen. You know, it's so important to be careful about who you hang out with. Yeah, it's good to love everyone, right. but we don't have to spend all our time with everyone. Yeah, or get all of our advice from everyone. Yeah, but we need advice from some people. Yeah, 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 so we need to ask ourselves... Reveal the question. Oh, oh yes, who are some wise people in your life? Uh, yeah, perhaps a parent or teacher. Mm -hmm. Or it could be one of your friends or an aunt or uncle you look up to. Yeah, and remember, being wise is not the same thing as being smart. I, I certainly learned that particular lesson today. Yeah, yeah. So think of the people in your life who make choices that are wise. Wisdom is out there waiting for you. Time to surround yourself with the people who have it. Talk about it with each other, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and this was The So and So Show. Bye. I think, you know, when I hang out with you, it makes me wiser. I think when I hang out with you, yeah, I see how much wisdom you need. It's delicious. Dude, he looks so silly. Ha, ha, ha.